we could not believe it at first. It was just so amazing to see like our hard work had actually like it's going to be a go up in space. Like we just could not get past that at all. Three Nanaimo District Secondary School students will have their science experiment carried out in the microgravity environment aboard the International Space Station. It's called the Student Space Flight Experiment Program, and it's the brainchild of Dr. Jeff Goldstein. He wanted to inspire students to go further into science, to become researchers. Over 18,000 students from 31 communities in the U.S., Canada and Brazil entered the competition, which launched in September. NDSS students initially came up with 50 proposals. It's real science. It's not reading a book and doing a worksheet. This is where they have to come up with an idea on their own, like this, there's no one's telling them what to do something that can be researched in microgravity. They were lengthy, big proposals they had to write, and it had to be, they had to justify their question, they had to research it, and then they had to go into Google Scholar and get articles that past researchers have written and published and use that as a basis to justify their research and then write up the citations. Like myself, I don't think I did that until I was in like third or fourth year of university. We were treated like real researchers. So it was really cool because the whole format, everything was just like, like a real researcher. So that was amazing. The proposals were narrowed down to 20, which were considered complete, well-written, and valid. Further vetting cut the number down to just nine, which were submitted to a local review panel at VIU. From that, three projects were submitted to the SEP National Step 2 Review Board, which met in early December at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C., who then selected one flight experiment from each community. There were so many good ideas, and uh, as a non-science person, when I read these experiments, uh, I was just, you know, I was just really surprised at what students came up with themselves, the research that they've done and just the ideas behind their, their thinking and being able to explain it and uh, being able to conduct the experiment themselves. Uh, it seemed beyond them, but at the same time, it just goes to show you what students are really capable of when we expect more from them. Essentially, our project is we're um, testing the effectiveness of the drug L-carnitine in inhibiting muscle atrophy. So it sounds kind of complicated at first. Um, basically, we're just trying this drug which has been proven to help at decreasing muscle atrophy, and we're going to inject it into planaria, which is like a little uh, flatworm, and we're going to see the effects of its retainment. The students are now in possession of a FME mini lab that they will use to refine and optimize their experiment under strict guidelines over the coming months in preparation for the Mission 12 launch in June. In the next steps, we just have to do we're going to run through the whole entire experiment again, and then we're just going to fix any little kinks that might that um, the review panel uh, found, and and then we'll be set to go and perform it on the ISS. This is the actual experiment. This is what's going to go up to the space station. It's um, going to contain a total of 10 milliliters of fluid. With these students, they'll have one chamber with a clamp that they'll have their planaria that are, that. Are been injected with a supplement to see if that will maintain muscle mass. And then after the clamp, they'll have another section of planaria that have been injected with saline as a placebo, and another clamp, and then finally, in the last chamber, a 10% formalin solution to preserve it. We have like the ability to actually help in further research in this area, which is amazing. They will be getting their data back. They have the opportunity this June 28th and 29th to present their proposal at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., um, or they can defer it for a year. Just to be able to actually send something up to the ISS is so huge, and it's, it's just a great opportunity, and um, actually being able to, to see the results of our opportunity that we made up, it's, it's amazing. There have been 13 SEP flight opportunities since the program began several years ago. NDSS almost didn't make it. They had to raise 24,000 U.S. dollars to fly the experiment. The community came through to make it happen. And at many points we didn't think it was going to happen because that's a substantial amount of money. But they came through, the Blue Moon Fund, Magellan Aerospace, our school district. Um, I have to thank Ted Olenek with BC Hydro and uh, Joe Moretti from Island Savings Credit Union. He actually offered to fund the full amount and it, as well as um, this year, he's, he's, they're funding the student's trip down to um, watch the flight 
in Florida. Students from NDSS and 10 feeder elementary schools are also designing a mission patch, which will accompany the microgravity experiment on its journey to the International Space Station. This is about students. This is about getting students excited about science, um, hoping to get more students involved in the research aspect. Uh, it's about 21st century learning and teaching the real curriculum as well, uh, because students uh, get to do what scientists do and this is you know this is what our curriculum is supposed to be aiming towards is real life experiences emulating what happens in real life and so the students see some relevance in the curriculum. I think this made me look at science in a different point of view I never really was able to never really had the opportunity to do a research paper before and kind of have my own have our own creative control on it and so I think it's pretty cool to learn about science in a way that we want to learn about it and make all of our own choices on what we choose to investigate. We just learned so much and I think we'll, we've all grown as like re researchers I guess you could call us now and as people too. The student spaceflight experiment program is designed to equip students for the 21st century so they have the thinking skills necessary for engaging in the pursuit of discovery and innovation. They hope to enter the challenge again next year. For Shaw TV, I'm Annette Lucas.